Hello and welcome. This is Chai Hoffelenia and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. The Commission on Audit says Vice President Jejumar Binay is liable for grave misconduct, dishonesty, and gross inexcusable negligence over the allegedly overpriced Makati City Hall parking building too. State auditors have two major findings. The construction of the 2.28 billion peso Makati City Hall parking building 2 showed, quote, irregularities from budgeting to procurement to execution resulting in misuse of public funds. And the contract with MANA Architecture and Interior Design was awarded through simulated bidding and payments. The same report says Hillmark's Construction Corporation and MANA got undue advantage. This comes as Binay catches up to a statistical tie with frontrunner Senator Grace Poe in the latest polls. The office of the Ombudsman says Binay, quote, pleaded with a COA official not to release the report until after the elections. Former Senate President Jovito Salonga dies Thursday. He was 95. Salonga is one of the country's most esteemed statesmen. He pursued law in the University of the Philippines, but was jailed for almost a year for joining anti-Japanese activities. He was released in 1943 and topped the bar examinations the following year with future Senator Jose Giorno. Salonga also served as the first chairman of the Presidential Commission on Good Government from 1986 to 1987. PCGG is the agency mandated to recover ill-gotten wealth of Ferdinand Marcos, his wife Imelda, and their cronies. He then became a senator in 1965, then became Senate President from 1987 to 1991. He retired in 1992. <laughs> A trusted official of the Marcoses confirms he had seen some paintings in the family's art collection. Former Central Bank Governor Jaime Laya says he was invited several times to the Manhattan townhouse between 1981 and 1984. Laya recalls seeing David and Goliath by Francisco de Zurbaran, quote, on the first floor near the elevator, while the Marquesa de Santa Cruz by Francisco Goya was found, quote, above the fireplace in the library. The artworks are part of the Marcos family's ill-gotten wealth worth 5 to $10 billion. The Presidential Commission on Good Government earlier urged the anti-graft court Sandigan Bayan to resolve the forfeiture case filed three decades ago. <laughs> 22,000 documents on IC's members leak to a news channel in Britain. Sky News Channel United Kingdom says a former ISIS member stole the memory stick full of documents. The massive intelligence hall holds information on nationals from at least 51 countries, including the United States and Canada, and from Northern Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. The documents also show that recruits would have to answer 23 questions on their blood type, mother's maiden name, and level of Sharia understanding, among others. International security firm director Oliver Gita says the leak shows dissenting voices within the group's ranks. Abu Hamed explains he left the group and gave the information to a journalist because Islamic rules collapsed within the group. Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders clash in a fiery debate as they pursue the Latino vote in Florida, home to a large Hispanic community. The two are pressed on immigration issues, especially on deporting children of illegal immigrants. Both candidates say they will not deport children and adults without criminal records. But Clinton slams Sanders for voting against an immigration reform bill in 2007, while Sanders shoots back, saying she took anti-immigrant positions in the 2000s. For both, this marks a break from President Barack Obama's administration, which came under fire for aggressive deportation policies on 11 million undocumented people. This comes just six days before the critical Florida primary. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hoffelenia. Remember, tomorrow begins today. <laughs>